We're back on the new camera on, well, technically it is a new camera. A new camera of the new camera. Go figure that one out because I can't. Bring it. Minus one off the year? Yes. Okay, so it's sorry, sorry. 2018, so minus one off the year, I so can... I'm 2017 years old. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I will try to. not to steal your jumper <laughs> on the way out. <laughs> If, if you find that I've been arrested before this vlog goes up, you know why. <laughs> so, one of my biggest top tips for that, extension leads. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability Life. life. Screen, but hey, it <laughs> I still don't know what day it is, so that doesn't help, does it? It is Wednesday, honey. Wednesday. Good Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. It's me. It's afternoon. Um, <coughs> John is ironing his shirt last minute before going to work, as usual. <laughs> you gotta keep up your image. You gotta keep up your image. What by ironing last minute? <laughs> Yeah, the funny thing is, I, would, I, I, I can't turn the camera around right now because it's up on a stand so that I'm not having to hold it all the time. Um, oh, John, could you mute the TV? We don't need to be getting... Jurassic World in the background. Yeah, and then getting those thingies on us, slapped on us. Copyrights. Would, copyrights, yeah. Um, what the hell? No, you didn't mute it, honey. You just picked up the remote, made it look at the TV and did oh. nothing. Yeah, no, if I could turn it around, John is actually doing this, like, kind of iron dance as he irons. It's quite amusing. <laughs> um, so, yesterday, the live stream, that was pretty awesome. I was really kind of nervous about that. Um, I think I was more nervous that what if loads and loads of people kind of just came into the stream and we couldn't keep up with the chat or anything like that and we had already pre-decided we would do things to protect me from the chat if it goes too fast and stuff like that so it was awesome to know though that john worked out a way that we could slow the chat down so that there is no possible way that it's going to set me into a seizure that is really cool to know um that that's possible um but in general we both really enjoyed the live chat um and i'm really glad that kirsty had the courage to ask a question because i really needed to face that i needed to face somebody asking me a question live on a live stream and i hope i did okay answering it I know that afterwards they felt really nervous, which is why I started acting silly afterwards, because that's my way of coping. Um, because it was like that whole nervous of, did I answer that in the way she needed it answered? Or, you know, because they're difficult questions to answer because everybody is on different paths. Everybody's going to handle things differently. So how I handle things is not necessarily how somebody else can handle things. But have you noticed we're back on the new camera on well technically it is a new camera a new camera of the new camera go figure that one out because i can't um you're the one that said it though so <laughs> you're the one that said it but i put the figure it out okay i was the one well it's the new camera that i broke but it's, it's a really newer one of it's a repl yeah right replacement thank you john replacement of the new camera so better images yay for that um 
and yeah today is Wednesday so John goes off to work we've got the carers coming in got a carer today that I don't know whether she's going to be camera shy or not um, find out when she gets here haven't had her for quite a while actually yeah. lovely girl lovely girl haven't seen her for a long long time so that would be nice to catch up with her and I think I'm going to make a start on packing meds today um, I won't get it fully done because we're still waiting for the Zonzamide to come in and what else? And the, and the right Monte Lucas so for the most we never finish packing up meds in the suitcase anyway it's always can we, you, you pack the medicine side of the medicine suitcase that is true like John's so just it's saying um, the medicine suitcase is never ever finished fully until the day we leave, um, the morning we leave, because I could pack one side with all the medicines, but the other side is things like my nebulizer, John's sleep apnea machine, and they can't be packed till the morning we go. So it's um, never actually fully finished until we, the day we leave anyway. <coughs> so yeah, it's going to be a day of get things done hopefully um, but I'm not going to push myself as much as I did the other day when we were packing I I deliberately put myself in a position on the bed where it was okay to record and it made it clear to record but that really hurt my hips and my back and I paid for that for a couple of days and it made it harder to continue packing so today I'm going to be a little bit more sensible so if I can record what I'm doing I'll record it if I can't I can um, we'll see how we go but I do know that I can at least show you little tips as I'm going along it depends on where we're going to how I would pack so if I was flying I would wrap every bottle in bubble wrap and I would do everything possible to protect it I put towels and details and everything in between just to protect them all as well um, but because we're only going in the van and a few hours down the road we don't need to over protect because it's only john driving so actually yeah probably need to protect it a little bit more than we do on a plane maybe <laughs> i love you are you gonna come and say hello to them this morning yeah well so that was that one of my you gotta do that one day and this is gonna fall. You already know it's loose. Afternoon! This one is trouble. Of course, I gotta be trouble. It's my job to be trouble. Really? Yes, just like it's your job to be trouble as well. <laughs> at the right times. I just do a better job with it. Well, yeah. <laughs> you have more practice at it. <gasps> But you're older than me, so you have more practice at it. No. Oh, do you know what, guys? I I've told been... you I was 35 yesterday, and I'm not. I'm 36. It's the one thing you will work out about me. I never, ever remember how old I am. I never do, do I? I, I just... Even on your birthday, you don't you yeah. know what you are. Oh, my actual birthday, I'll be like, how old am I? <laughs> you know, it's very simple. If it's before July, minus one off the, off the year, if it's after July, it's the same thing. Minus one off the year? Yes. Okay, so it's sorry, sorry. 2018, so minus one off the year, okay. so I'm 2017 years old. No, 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 no. Okay, at the moment for this year, sorry, if it's before July, minus two, after July, minus one. So I'm 2015 yes. years old. You're not. <laughs> How do you get to? Because you said wait, wait, minus wait, two wait. off the of the year. Wait, but it's 2018, so if minus two is 2016, so where did you get 2015 from? We completely whacked that one out the wall. No, okay, um, no, I'm saying. Goodness. It's 2018. You minus two, so you're 36. After July, you minus one off the year. So it's 37. A boy. You were born an odd, not an odd year, but. Did any of you understand that? 
because I, that went anyway all I'm trying to say is I will always always give you my birth wrong my date wrong because I get confused and it's normally only by age. Age. well yeah my age not my date it's normally normally by a year I get it wrong so it's like all this year I keep getting confused between whether I'm 25 or tw 25 <laughs> 35 or 36. You wish you were 25. I, the reason I'm thinking, walking. now the reason I'm thinking 25, I'll explain in a minute, but this year I'm like confused between whether I'm 35 or 36, and next year it'll be whether I'm 36 or 37. I do it oh, every year. This year's 36 or 37. <laughs> I give up. I just get confused with my age. Don't, that's just me, but I am 36 until July, then I'm 37. Um, but yeah, 25. 25, the reason I was thinking 25 is because um, I was remembering my 25th birthday. Right, so my 25th birthday. Um, <laughs> I had, for a start, I dyed my hair. So I wanted to dye it bright purple. So it had to go in stages. I had to go and dye it, ble get it bleached blonde first, which I look really stupid with bleach blonde hair, and then um, dye it purple, and then I had to grow it out afterwards, but that's not the point, but on my birthday I had bright purple hair, I loved it, okay. um, and then Sarah wanted bright pink hair on her birthday, so obviously we didn't have the time to like get her hair fully dyed, and she wanted, she didn't want it permanent either, she wanted like a semi perm like wash in wash out stuff right. <laughs> we were staying in the Copthorne hotel in plymouth um i can't remember whether we stayed one night or two nights but we were staying there and we both had a disabled room each and um they had a bath lift because obviously it was back then disabled rooms still have baths <laughs> but they had a bath lift that lit seat that blowed yeah, you in and out of the bath. There is a bath. But it wasn't plastic. It was kind of like um, it was one. It, you got to think back then things were different, uh, you know. So it, it was, was made like, like almost rusted metal. No, it was kind of wooden, bambooy, woody, kind of. I, I don't know. Did you but, break it? No, we dyed it pink, <laughs> <laughs> and we dyed the bath pink. <laughs> <laughs> How in the world? Because obviously when we came back we had to wash it all out for her. You know, I thought it was that much pink though. You didn't need to use that much pink and dye is dye. You, you've never used dye? Would you like me to dye your hair? <laughs> I'm a guy! How often do guys dye their hair? Oh, it was amazing. It, that was a really cool birthday, though. But we, yeah, we made a mess in the hotel. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and fish the photos out of us with our crazy hair. Um, Sarah's was awesome because it was bright it, pink and it was all spiky. Where would it be? Mm, no, I wouldn't even know where to look for personal photos of things nowadays. Um, a lot of mine kind of went when I went into support of it. Yeah. Never mind. Um. Hmm. That'd be it. I'll be too. So, anyhow, guys, I'm gonna catch you guys a bit later. I'm just gonna say bye to him while he goes to work, before he goes to work, and I'm gonna catch you guys a bit later. When your carer turns up with a Gryffindor top <laughs> and won't let you steal it. <laughs> this is so cool. Apparently it comes from the Harry Potter studios, but I can't get tickets to go there till the summer, which is really sucky. I love that. Say hello. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> it's Michaela. She was the lady I was telling you about this morning that hasn't been here for ages. <laughs> but I want her top. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, you can leave that here by mistake. <laughs> I'll pack that and take it on holiday with I me. I thought you did. <laughs> oh, you know my Paris. Have you ever done, done my paracetamol before? No. Uh, normally my paracetamol is this like bright orange yucky stuff. But for some reason this time they've given me colour free. Oh, okay. 
So I reckon the pharmacy may be watching our vlogs mm. because um, we kept complaining about how it was yucky, bright orange and yeah. now I got colour free. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we were explaining in one of my medication ones how um, they have to put, pharmacy have to put labels on the bottles for mm. you girls yeah. because uh, if it's on the box, you can't give it to me. Yeah. yeah very important. If we don't get a bottle and it's not on the 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 prescriptions on the box and not the bottle, we have to take it back to the pharmacy. It annoys them. <laughs> I find it funny. <laughs> uh, I think otherwise, some people throw away the boxes and then you have no instructions. I think yeah, no, that that make, it does make sense. And sometimes, like you can have an accident with the box, it gets wet or something. So it really does make sense for it to be on the bottle, and it's safer. Yeah. Because you know, I could go. I've got a different paracetamol bottles. I could go and change them around. How would you know? That's the thing. You know, at the end of the day, this is their own brand. I could go buy that. Yeah. How would you know if it wasn't on the bottle? I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. So the, the, the agencies are doing the right thing, they're right. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I will try to. not to steal your jumper <laughs> on the way out. If, if you find that I've been arrested before this vlog goes up, you know why. <laughs> Good evening, I am home. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. home. Um, just cooking myself something to eat. I know I'm um, just defrosting the shepherd's pie behind the freezer. Boiling up some potatoes to put some mashed potatoes on top. Gotta put a little cheese on top after it's cooked. I'm gonna eat. Um, I just put Stacy down in the bed for a nap because she's really tired right now. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if she sorted the meds out on video or not, but she has sorted some meds out. Um, and after what I'm done eating, once she wakes back up from a nap, I'm going to pack the back together. So that should be interesting. So nothing really more up to, up to date here at the moment, but you will see us later. Okay, top tips for you for packing if you want to go away. Um, some of these are okay if you want to go abroad. Some of them work for that too. Um, but in general this isn't necessary just for self-catering this we would take these no matter where we're going even some these are things we take even if we were going overnight somewhere uh most of us with chronic illness or a disability um and actually in this day and age just able-bodied people we all have a lot of electricity things um you know your mobile phone your ipad your laptops then let's put the disabled aid in your wheelchair, your air mattress, and let's put the chronic illness stuff in, John's sleep apnea machine, my nebulizer, um, what am I forgetting? Recharge your body. <laughs> yeah, recharge my body. <laughs> oh, I wish life was that easy. Let's just get one of those, um, oh, what do you call it? USB plugs and charge me in. <laughs> um, so I'm... Hot because I've just been packing the med suitcase. That's a chore, I tell you. Anyhow, so one of my biggest top tips for that extension leads. Um, now we take three different types. We always used to take two different types, but there was a vlog. Did we actually vlog it when we bought them? I think we did. Which one? Yeah, the, these ones. Oh. It was when we were with Nan and Granddad. We bought these. Now they're I'm not sure if we vlogged that we picked them up or not, um, but I'll explain these in a minute. So normally we take two extension leads with just two plugs, um, and then normally we will take an extension lead which has four plug bits on it, and we now have these type two which has four bits on it. Yeah, it's four, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's four. Um, but it also has USB ports in it, so two USB ports on it. So it's pretty awesome because instead of having to plug the plug in for the USB port things, we could just put the USB straight in. So extension leads, they are absolutely vital for us because obviously we need to make sure my mattress is actually on the bed. 
um, if it fits. If it doesn't, then it's on the floor. But we need to make sure the machine's plugged in. That's just the extraction leaflet. This one's a brand new one, not been used yet. Um, the uh, well, just everything we need to. And, and most places do not have enough plugs, uh, especially in a hotel. We've always found that there's never enough plugs in the hotel for all of our medical needs. Um, and they're always in a ridiculous place. If they have enough, they're, they're, they're never next to the bed. They're yeah, they're, they're the if they have enough, they're never near the bed. They're the like, other side of the room or something stupid. So, you know, poor John with his sleep apnea mask would have to sleep by the front door of the hotel room or something, cropped up against the wall. <laughs> so, yeah, we always take extension leads. They are a pure must. Um, never, ever leave without them. In fact, we have um, this one these two never come out of the medical suitcase they actually stay in there they are purely for going away the 4.1 i can't show you because we're actually using it we use it at home and then we unplug everything from it to take with us other things that i would I, th these are the things i would call essentials for traveling in general wet wipes these are amazing for traveling when you're, I use wet wipes for pretty much everything, all things from, I don't know, like I'm hot and sweaty right now, when I cool down a little bit, I use a wet wipe to freshen up. Um, obviously if um, I'm changing a dressing and things like that, I want to make sure I've got clean hands and I'll wash my hands, but then I've got a transfer and things before, and I still need to just make sure my hands are still clean, so I'll use them again. Um... If you're out and about and you get sticky hands and things like that, they're perfect for that. And if you're a wheelchair user who uses a manual wheelchair, your hands get dirty on the rails, on, on, on your, um, sorry, I can't, wheels. yeah, it's not the wheels, it's the bit that they turn, um, there's a side grip on it and I can't think of the word that they call it. Um, these are perfect and you can get them in uh, bag size, which is half the size. They're more expensive, personally, I just buy the bigger sizes. And I whack them in my bag on the back of my chair. I take an extra couple in my suitcase. I use wet wipes all the time. They are cheaper. And I mean, it's like people pay extraordinary prices for the makeup removers. I've always used wet wipes. All my life I've used wet wipes instead of makeup removers. It's cheaper. And if you're like me and you have a lot of medical equipment and medical stuff and it produces a lot of waste, like all my syringes, they're going to produce rubbish and the, all the bandages and dressings and all that that produces rubbish. Best thing for getting rid of that rubbish, nappy bags. They are cheap, they are cheerful. Um, whack them in there. Old um, syringes, don't just, I don't just throw them in the bin because I need to protect, um, you know, say, say we've gone out and a member of the cleaning staff came in, I don't want them to just put their hand in the bin and, and, and touch my one which got medicine on and could make them ill. So I always throw them in a nappy bag and then into the bin. So I always carry nappy bags everywhere for the for um, the sort of medical waste. And my stolen bags. Yes, I stole them. Not on purpose, by accident. No, Oh yeah, I borrowed them. I accidentally borrowed them. Well, I, no, I didn't accidentally borrow them. I borrowed them on purpose, accidentally stole them. Um, from Lidl's, because they're a little bit bigger than nappy bags, so they do the same trick as nappy bags, but they're bigger. Um, they are what you get in the shop when you're putting your vegetables in. Well, I couldn't reach, so we took it off, and we were doing a whole load of vegetables, because it was for Thanksgiving time, so we buy a lot of veg around that time. Um, and we cook it up and freeze it down and all kinds of funky stuff but you'll see that in november but yeah i took it john passed it down. no it wasn't you it was somebody else that passed it down to me wasn't it a random stranger passed it down to me so that i could just go on my merry way and help myself to me vegetables stuck it down the side of my chair I forgot about it and walked out the store with the whole thing and it was a lot bigger so these have come in really handy too for medical waste and another one it's bags again, white bin liners for even bigger rubbish from medical waste. Very handy. 
so they're top tips I could give you um, I always make sure we have basic first aid kit as well because never know when your husband's gonna walk into a door or trip over his own feet or he's ignoring me <laughs> he's eating his shepherd's pie is it shepherd's pie is it good it is, yeah. it's yummy so yeah I always make sure I've got basic first aid kit but I don't have to really add much to it other than the typical normal plasters because of everything I normally carry for my wound care so I couldn't record me packing my meds into my suitcase one because actually to be honest it would have been really boring for you I'm not doing anything extra special this time I'm not flying and I'm not going on the train so I don't need to wrap it in bubble wrap or protect it in any way like that at some point I will do I will show you um, those sort of tricks and the things you can get to help you with that sort of stuff but I didn't do anything special with it I just played Tetris really to get everything in the suitcase um, on one side because the other side is will be the medical equipment like John's sleep apnea machine and my nebulizer and stuff although are we going to put the nebulizer in the bag or are we going to leave that out seeing as I've been quite chesty whatever you think is best oh, sure. Not big, but it might make sense to um leave it out yeah okay oh and my bed pump machine needs to go in there too so I just thought I'd share a couple of these little tips because it's not just chronic illness, it's disabilities. And some of these tips are great for non-disabled people, you know? We all touch things and go, Ugh. So a little pack, even if you don't get the big pack, get a little pack, have them in your handbag or in your day going out around bag. That's their handy. And extension needs, amazing. Oh, you, you just, I don't know how people with disabilities, chronic illness cope without taking extension leave because where do you plug everything? There's just never enough plugs. So, they are my biggest tips for today and pack it. And right now, I need to go and cool down because I am not going to go into the seizure. I will catch you guys in a bit. Yeah! Are you trying to make me jump? Of course I'm trying to make you jump. See? I, did I make her jump? Oh, you can't see. You're looking at me. Well, why are you looking at me for? You're supposed to look at her. Will you pay attention? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, you won't pay attention. Never mind. How do you know? They might be ignoring you. Well, they could be ignoring me too. Just how hard can they ignore me? I don't know where this is going. So, a little tip. <clears throat> One of the creams that Stacy orders to help was the sores that happen in our body because she, she had different creams to do different things as we showed you in our video but, but one of them normally comes in a tube of, of the, the medication but sometimes the pharmacy makes a mistake and orders the kind of like little sachets of it so whenever we get this we try Stacy tries to save them for when we um go away because they are easier to take an entire tube of them I mean, we are taking the tubes as well as these because we don't have enough of these, but she she, she does try to save these because they are very helpful when you go when you go away. Pop them in your handbag and all sorts. Pop them in your handbag, in your medicine bag, mm -hmm. anywhere. Along with this tip, if smaller things are easier for you to travel with, go ahead and, and, and request the smaller ones. like. Sometimes the Aura Morph, they give her a big 300 mil bottle. That is so annoying because literally, you try to go out with a 300 mil bottle. It's this tall, but it's, 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 it's tall. It's like, what am I gonna do with this? I can't hide it. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out our bag. Oh, geez, they got, got this bottle of Aura Morph in front of you. <laughs> small you one. It's like the small ones you can kind of disguise as just normal medication at that point. So we always try to request 300 bell bottles instead of the 300. And sometimes they give the 300 just because they don't pay attention. That's like they still can't get the rock out of the cast <laughs> after how many times it's been told them this one does not work. But for the most part, I'm 
efficiency is pretty awesome. They are pretty good, yeah. My medications are quite complicated and there is quite a lot of them. So they do really, really, really do well. They do. I I still amaze some of them by, by how I can go, yep, that one, 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 that one. Like, how are you doing with it? Like, yeah, you deal with it once out of the month and the month. <laughs> or the same stuff. You will figure it out yourself. So, we will see you later. So, we're going to wrap it up for tonight. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us in our crazy world. Bye.